have entered the Kabillion HQ. Prepare for countdown. Live streaming in three, two, one. Fans and welcome to the Kabillion Twitch channel. My name is Kaya and today we have a very special stream for you guys. Thanks to viewers like you, we were able to bring in one of our most special guests of all time. So thank you for everybody who donated to our last cheer goal. Uh, I know we've had a, t a couple cheer goals being met and we're slowly going to meet them, I promise. Um, but we do have another one coming up. So please, 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 if you'd like to meet more of our wonderful icons in the studio, be sure to donate if you can. Uh, and as a reminder, for anybody who wants to donate and be recognized for it, we will be, for every 25 bits, sticking your icon in one of our three pumpkins. Now, our pumpkins we are not showing today because we'd like to focus on our special guest. And speaking of our special guest, I'll get a little bit into that right now. Our special guest today is Mr. Frog. And for those of you who don't know, Mr. Frog is a Kabillion icon. He's been in many of our YouTube videos. He loves to promote our shows, particularly Kulapari, which is more for Splash Entertainment, our parent company. But regardless, uh, he's a wonderful actor. We're very excited to meet him. We're very excited for you guys to meet him. So without further ado, Mr. Frog, why don't you hop on over here? Hello. Welcome. welcome, welcome. And uh, this is Mr. Frog's manager, I believe. Do you want to introduce yourself a little bit? Hi, everyone. I am Lindsay, also known as Lynn's Designs. I'm here on behalf of uh, Mr. Frog. He has a very delicate voice for trying to keep uh, as pristine as possible for his many video ventures, which you will see soon on stream. So I will be speaking on behalf of Mr. Frog, and I am also his manager. Perfect. Well, welcome both of you guys. Uh, thank you. So we're very happy to. Oh, nice to meet. You. Oh, thank. you. Thank you. Uh, it's customary for uh, people like Mr. Frog to give a gift to uh, whatever hosting uh, he's ah, on. Ah, so it's a, this is a delicacy in your, your, yeah. All right, I'll be sure to try that later. <laughs> um, so welcome again. Uh, why don't we just start off by explaining who you are and what you do exactly. Oh, he's, uh, he's saying, I am Mr. Frog. I work at Cavillion as a sales frog. Uh, you don't usually see me as I work behind the scenes, but I am always here. Wow. And where are you from, Mr. Frog? Oh, uh, he says he's originally from Frogville, Oklahoma. It's a very small town, which is nice because you get to know everyone really well. Unfortunately, I wanted to get into the entertainment industry, and the only way to do that is to move to the big city. So I packed my bags and moved to Los Angeles, and I've been here for many years. Wow. Wow. So that's uh, pretty far to come from all the way from Oklahoma to LA. Uh, what was your first job in the industry? Ah, well, I know I said I moved to LA, but before then, it was actually quite a journey. I realized the city was a lot more expensive than my hometown, so I did a lot of saving up and preparing. I first moved to Oklahoma City in my home state to try to get in with a studio there. I worked as a production assistant for the local news for a while, but that didn't pay very well, so I had to wait tables as side jobs. Of course. Oh, oh, really? Oh, oh man. Oh, he, he got, I got fired from the production assistant oh. job oh, because wow. they claimed I got uh, slime all over the equipment. Uh, I didn't agree with the judgment as I'm pretty sure it was the director, but still don't, don't, they don't want me back. Um, he also says, I also got fired from waiting tables as customers were complaining about the slime in their food. I hit, uh, oh, oh, he hit some rough points in Oklahoma. Eventually, uh, I was hired as an office assistant for the Discovery Channel in Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> the person I assisted was transferred over to the LA office 
and they invited me to follow suit. I didn't make a lot of money and was living in my car, but I was able to branch out from there. Wow, wow, that's uh, it's always kind of rough getting all the way out here, and it seems like Oklahoma has a really big slime problem, I guess. It's just must very be the unusual. humidity. I, it must be, you know, that Midwestern uh, humidity, of course. So, you know, moving on, and I, I understand that was your first industry gig, so how did you end up at Cabillionaire? Interestingly enough, I started as a video editing intern. My job at the time was a little more flexible, and I was able to spend a couple of days a week in the office. Uh, they absolutely hated my editing. Wow. Ooh. He had no experience and just figured that I would fake it till I make it, but that apparently doesn't work with editing. I was actually not invited back as an employee until two years later when they needed an office assistant for some small tasks. I begged them to take me back and they surprisingly did. Seeing my assistant experience in person, they were much more impressed. I found a couple of other opportunities and they've been working here ever since. Hey, thanks for the yeah, bits, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Glad we could keep it interesting. Yeah, and thanks for everyone joining us. Yeah. Uh, well, that's that's impressive. I've also heard that because of your previous intern experience that you and uh, Justin Form don't quite get along. I mean, he's not here in the studio today, so... Yeah. He, he just said some things that I'm not allowed to say on camera. Oof, okay. Yeah, sorry, well, then we will, we will just move on along then. <laughs> um, would you, uh, well, what would you say it's like working at Cabillion? It's pretty cool overall. Always neat to see how the entertainment industry works. We have a lot of fun, but sometimes work is just that, work. It's not always flies and moths, you know. There's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes that make Cabillion so great, but sometimes some of that stuff is frustrating, hard, or just straight up boring. Also, I'm apparently not allowed to flick my tongue. Flick my tongue out at people as it's considered rude. Wow, <laughs> who would have guessed? Um, well, would you say that your experience is similar to one of the videos that you've done? Actually, why don't we just show the video and it's for everyone to have a reference. Sure thing. Uh, it would be this. And then this. Red-eyed tree frogs live in the canopy of the Panamanian rainforest. When it comes time to mate, both parties do what it takes to find a convivial spot. What do you think? Well, apparently our audience likes it quite a bit. I can <laughs> see we're having a bit war in our chat, and thank you everybody for sending over your bits. We'll have to individually count every <laughs> bit that you have sent us over to make sure you're represented in our pumpkin. <laughs> but, um, Mr. Frog, you seem a little upset about that video. What are your feelings about that? Listen, I can explain. I I've had some downtime for the day, I swear. I, I do things. A coworker of mine saw me not working during my downtime and decided to film it. 
please don't tell my boss. It's really embarrassing. It nearly ruined me in my career. This did not go over well. And I got a lot of hate mail for a long time. Wow. A, a funny story about that video. Uh, the company did think the video was hilarious and posted it online. However, so many people had a huge issue with a small part that had to be slightly edited and reposted. You can check out the edited video on the Kabillion YouTube channel. Maybe you can see what's changed. Wow, well, I didn't realize it had such an impact on your life. That's pretty uh, intimidating. Just a short, short video, you know? Yeah. How much was that? A minute, maybe? I thought it was a good video. Yeah. I, 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 I watched similar things. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say, I personally enjoy it. And, yeah. And, um, you know, I'm sorry to hear that you went through that experience. Uh, but why don't we just... Um, I mean, why was the video made in the first place? I mean, it seems kind of weird that there was someone filming in your office. <laughs> Isn't there rules against that? I, I think so, but... Oh. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. He says, uh, originally I was chosen to be in some videos because I am a huge Kalapari fan. We were promoting the show, and they wanted to get to know what it was like from a fan's perspective. They had to set up an, and interview me in my cubicle. Uh, unfortunately, my actual footage never aired. They just used the embarrassing video oh. instead. Wow, what a horrible coworker. Yeah, that's, that sucks. Hmm. Yeah. Well, um, since that was such a negative time for you, why don't we just kind of move on and move away from work and um, just get to know what you do in your spare time? Oh, 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 he says, uh, I have lots and lots of hobbies, like watching TV, staring outside of my window, fly fishing, and oh, yeah, yeah, cooking. I, I really love to cook and think of new recipes. Some of my traditional meals are considered very, very foreign here, so my favorite thing to do is create recipes that my non-frog co-workers would like to try. Wow. Wow, well, that's very thoughtful. I'm, I'm sure it's... LA is the place to do that if you'd like to blend cultures, that's for sure. Um, so we actually discovered a cooking video of you online. Uh, it was self-produced, so why don't we play it and just get an idea of what you like to do. Let's check it out. It's uh, this one. Cooking. And again, everybody, thank you for the bits. <laughs>
that looked delicious. Uh, what got you into doing these videos? He says, this was actually my, my first attempt, wow, wow, to make a YouTube cooking show. I, I really just would like to share my culture with the world, and the internet's the best, best place to do that. Well, it's very impressive for, you know, a, a self-produced video, especially for your first time. Uh, did the video ever take off, or...? Uh, no, the, the world hasn't been receptive to my culture. That's horrible. Everyone just thinks bugs are gross, but like, it's my favorite food. I, I think the world will eventually come around to my recipes, but it, it's just a lot to take in at once. It, in fact, he, here's one of my favorite dishes. Oh my gosh. Did you know he was gonna do this? I had no idea. Wow. Uh, uh, and, and what would this be? He says it's crickets, grasshoppers, and a few of them are chocolate covered. Oh, oh. that's a cricket. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this, wow, looks very uh, delicious. I'll be sure to try them. Thank you. Would you like to try some as well? Uh, yeah, let's go for one of the chocolate ones. I don't know if you guys can actually see this, but we got definitely a few bugs in there. A few are chocolate covered. We got white chocolate. Um, then we got some uh, regular milk chocolate. I think I'm going to go for a uh, just regular chocolate. I guess, is this a, a, a worm? Or? I believe it's a mealworm. It's a mealworm. Okay. Yeah, yummy. Yeah, so it's chocolate covered mealworm. Bon appetit, and thank you for uh, bringing me some of your culture. As your manager, I feel like I, I should take part a little more in your culture. I, I apologize yes. if I haven't done that. So, bottoms up, everyone. Very nice. What a wonderful gift. Thank you for bringing that into the studio. It's pretty crunchy. Oh, thank you. Yum. <laughs> I heard they're very protein rich as well. I'm starting to feel more protein enriched as we speak. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Um, so I know that the, the cooking videos didn't necessarily take off, but do you still continue to do the cooking videos or any videos? Uh, n um, no, I, w I was ashamed of my lack of success for a while. Again, I, I got a lot of hate mail for the cooking video. Since people really, really, really hate bugs. Really? Uh, really. Also, my parents said that if I didn't focus on my career and stop chasing nonsense dreams, ouch, Oof. and creating scandals, <laughs> that I wouldn't be invited to the Frog's Giving for a while. So I, I, so I had to stop. Uh, with enough support from viewers like you, I would really like to start doing them again. Yes. So, I hope you guys are liking the videos so far. Well, I'm sorry that your, your parents have been so unsupportive in your dreams. I, I mean, I know that you have the job at Kabili and it's stable, but, you know, it'd be nice to have some support. Uh, so, I mean, we have no success in that area, so, you know, please be sure to check out his videos on YouTube so that we can get some more support and get some more cooking videos going up, or any other videos, I suppose. Um, and speaking of, we actually found another video of you regarding your love life, which was aired a little while later, but why don't we show the video? All right. Let's see. Valentine's. Valentine's Day is once again upon us, and finding a date can be pretty intimidating. Let's examine how this frog finds one. He's dirty. His outfit is ill-fitting, certainly not looking his best. And are those pit stains? Oh dear. He's just lost a potential date and has made matters worse by begging and crying. Why don't you, and Frog here, learn from Kabillion's successful tips? Make sure you look your best before asking out a date. This means looking and smelling good. Check yourself in the mirror. Don't forget to tighten your tie and use your favorite scent. This gentle frog here has chosen frog's breath for men. Frog's breath, just a small spritz, goes a long way. Available at your local pump. Now you're looking good. Now that you are looking and smelling good, let's try that again. When you walk up to a potential date, look confident, keep a positive attitude, and use compliments. To break the ice, try talking about the weather or current event. Eventually, you'll be able to ask out your date. Congrats, Frog. You've got a date. 
It looks like you're really trying to impress her with the gifts that you bought. How lovely. Oh my, she seems quite insulted. What went wrong? Frog, are those cleaning supplies you've bought? Cleaning supplies won't reach the heart of anyone. Frog had the right idea of bringing the gift, but let's see what he's brought this time. Oh, flowers and chocolate. Flowers and chocolate, available at your local pond. When giving gifts, the classics work the best. Well, Frog, you finally made it to the actual date. But what's this? Your date is on her phone, and you seem to be making awkward conversation. Maybe she's hungry, and the dinner will lighten the mood. <laughs> Just in time. The waiter has brought the food, and... Oh, no. It's dry ramen noodles with a plastic fork? What a terrible food choice. She's walked off, and I think it's safe to say you're not getting that second date. Well, you might as well enjoy the food. Let's try this again. This time, Frog and his date are thoroughly invested in their conversation. They've even made a toast. And look, the waiter has brought the food. And it's sushi. How exquisite. That second date must be a sure thing. Well done. Sometimes things don't work out. And it looks like our frog is alone yet again on Valentine's Day. The date was a fail, but that's okay. There is still one way you can end up a winner tonight. Just pick up that remote and change the channel to Kabillion. Kabillion, the perennial favorite. But it seems like something is still missing. Now you look like a real winner. Looks like this Valentine's Day wasn't too bad after all. Wow, what, a, what an interesting video. Before I get a little bit more into that video, we do have a viewer who is asking uh, about Frog's Giving. They want to know what month that, that holiday is. Mm, it's a month that's not really in the American human society, ah. um, and it's on their own calendar. So it's it's really tough to say. It's you kind of have to uh, align uh, the the pon lily ponds and uh, at, at a certain way, and then and then it's just kind of a, a thing that they know is happening. Ah, I, I see. So it's yeah. a little. So it kind of varies from time to time. Yeah, yeah. I, I see. Uh, well, thank you. I apologize. I can't quite see the name from here. My, I guess I'm going blind. But thank you for asking. If anybody has any other questions, um, be sure to ask. We, you know, we're taking viewer questions as well. Oh, he, he uh, Mr. Frog also says if you go to your local pond and they do have that in stock, throwing chaos. Uh, if you mention Mr. Frog, they'll give you a uh, a discount. Awesome. Great. Thank you. Thank you for letting them know. Um, so why don't we get a little bit back into that video? Uh, what is what is the dating video about? You know, what what made you get back into that kind of scene? Ooh, juicy gossip. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'm still looking. I, I've had some dates since then, but lately. I've just been sitting in my apartment eating my favorite flavor of ice cream, m mud pie with crickets on top. Oh, that sounds interesting. Do you have to add the crickets to the ice cream or is it, uh, is it built in? Kind of? uh, he says since he does love to cook, um, he goes out and forages his own and then has a, a special frog recipe that he's not willing to share on air. Um, and that's uh, that's what he puts on top. Well, that's that's amazing. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that it's it's not quite working out. Um, has your career, uh, you know, how's your career been since these videos have come out? Oh, actually, yeah. Recently, someone at Cabillion discovered my video through our archives and paid tribute to me through Twitch by making me into an emote. I, I'm also, uh, <laughs> I'm also uh, featured on an exclusive t-shirt for tier three subs. Oh yes, uh, I forgot to mention, he's so iconic for our company and our YouTube channel. 
Uh, for more information, you can see it in one of our information boxes if you scroll down on our channel. Uh, but for all or tier three, first time tier three subscribers, uh, we will send you a free shirt with your size and your choice of a white on black design or black on white design. Uh, so be sure to check that out and also be sure to click on it to see the full terms and conditions. Legal has told me to say that. <laughs> um, All right, legal, back off. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then just going into that a little bit, um, you know, with the dabbing frog emote that uh, our wonderful designer on the Design Power Hour designed, um, we haven't been able to utilize it yet because we don't quite have enough subscribers. But once we hit our su first subscriber goal, we will be able to release it for our subscribers. So if you'd like to be able to use that emote, um, be sure to subscribe to our channel, encourage your friend to subscribe, um, and more self-promotion that we are doing right now. And thank you, Nerd News. We see that you have to head out. Um, catch you later, man. Yes, thank you so thank much. thank you. Thank you for joining. Yeah. Um, actually, speaking of the emote, uh, why don't we just show a quick video of the emote being created so that people know what we're talking about. Let's do it.
Wow, it's it's always amazing to see what goes into the graphic design process and, and how that works. So once again, for anybody who missed it, if you'd like to see that emote being used on the Kabillion channel, or you'd like to get a chance to use it, please be sure to help us reach our sub goal. Please, please. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Frog has been waiting his whole life to be a famous star, you know, from hearing his whole story being told. I, as his manager slash graphic designer at Cabillion, um, you know, we've, we've talked a lot about, uh, you know, success and, you know, true success is having your own emote. That, I would agree with that, definitely, 100%. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and soon enough, you know, we'll be able to use you as an emote, you know, represent <laughs> the people. Yeah. Awesome. Amazing. Uh, what did you think of the emo, Mr. Frog? He says uh, it was pretty good. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Um, so, you know, I know that you're in a lot of the videos and, and you're reaching to be a little bit more famous, maybe on the internet or some other, other way. Uh, what can we expect from you in the future? He, he says, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd really like to get back into some of the cooking videos. Hmm. Uh, of course, it depends on how much support I get from the viewers. Well, um, hopefully our, our viewers do support you, but realistically, do you think that anybody cares? I mean, you have have so much time in between your videos, it's it's hard to, to keep up a, a, a career that way, no? I, I guess I, I must have insulted our guest. I, I'm very sorry. Uh, why don't we play the another one of his videos in the meantime, and maybe we can get him back on the, the screen for some of your uh, questions. Alrighty, well, Mr. Frog is, is quite angry. Uh, he's uh, very insulted by my question. Uh, for those of you who saw both videos, I, I know they look very similar, but that was actually the edited version that is placed on YouTube. You can always watch it on the Kabillion YouTube channel. Um, you sure we can't get him back? Anybody have any questions? Yeah, maybe if you guys have questions, he'll come back. But uh, for the time being, um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, his boss, I don't know, frogs have a different type of eyesight than humans, so it's very possible that uh, his boss may have seen that, or he may have known those frogs in that scene, or, you know, <laughs> and... Yeah, uh, you never know. I mean, sometimes yeah. people are just so in their head that they don't notice it anyway, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Not to say, you know, uh, any of those video watching is wrong, but, you know, if you got to be working, you got to be working. And I, as his manager, uh, definitely want to make sure he's working at all times. Uh, we're constantly hustling, trying to get him more jobs for acting. Um, we have a few ideas of some possible upcoming videos, but we're not ready to share with you guys yet. Yes. Uh, so, if you'd like to see more Mr. Frog, please you know, go on our YouTube channel, watch our videos, spam the comments, you know, <laughs> spam our whisper 
I think we allow whispers. I don't remember. <laughs> Regardless, spam, 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 and we will be sure to bring him back to appease the masses. This is, um, you can find those videos on YouTube. Uh, is that YouTube at work or Twitch? That's YouTube at work. <laughs> he was watching YouTube at work and you can find his videos on our YouTube. You can see all of them. That corner, everything is at Kabillion. Yes. <laughs> yes. Bring back Mr. Frog, hashtag. I don't know, does anyone have any questions for Mr. Frog? Maybe he'll come back and answer them. In the meantime, thank you guys so much because look at look at uh, little sprinkles here in the cup. He's barely staying afloat. Yes, yes, we are very impressed. We did <laughs> not realize that we would have this reaction, but I'm very glad that we did. Um, it just shows how much the, you guys love Mr. Frog and how much you know you love our channel, and we really appreciate you guys um, donating bits and and supporting us and watching us. It's very important. We can keep doing. The things that we do because of the support that we get from you guys so thank you very much um, we do have a lot of counting to do because we have to <laughs> put your icons in our pumpkins but um you know um we do have a question uh actually so maybe we can get mr frog back out here um uh, mr frog would you we can give you an apology yes i i would like to sincerely apologize <laughs> Oh, thanks, Mr. Frog. We appreciate you, know, you coming I, back. I'm very sorry, Mr. Frog. You know, I, it was a stupid question on my part. I, I sincerely apologize for insulting you. Um, the fans do love you, so they do care, and they do want to see more of you. So, you know, that was that was my bad. I'm I'm the, <laughs> the fool in this situation. Yes. Oh, ooh, once again, I can't translate that. Oh, but he will forgive uh, you for now. Okay. <laughs> Uh, thank you for welcoming back, Mr. Frog. Drawing Chaos did have a question. Sorry, what is it? Does he own a different shirt? Do you own different shirts, actually, is their question. He, he, he says three, but he uh, definitely uh, has learned about a lot about uh, Steve Jobs and the way that uh, he is more efficient each day by wearing the same clothes. Mm. And he, he wants to make the best of his uh, time so that he can create more content for everyone. So by owning a lot of the same clothes, but three different ones, mm -hmm. um, that way he, he doesn't have to spend time picking out outfits in the morning. He can get right to work. Right, that that does make sense. I mean, I have a lot of clothes and it takes a lot of thought for me to pick out my outfits in the day. So that, that sounds very efficient. Yeah, um, I actually picked out my outfit last night. Wow, yeah, you're I, even more efficient than I am. Well, I actually spend a lot more time probably because <laughs> I was uh, thinking about what I would wear. One. I only have one outfit. Yeah, that's true. I have one outfit and the rest are just junk clothes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it was pretty quick picking out the one outfit. Yeah, the one special occasion outfit, of course. <laughs> um, will he... uh, do you think that you will change the color of your shirt at some point? I know that you have very similar colors, but have you ever thought of maybe mixing it up or changing it up a little bit? Um, he says that uh, possibly with his uh, emote, uh, it is possible uh, to, to change the color, but uh, he does like the way the shirt pops off of uh, black and white uh, backgrounds as it is right now. He will definitely think about it. That's a good question, he it says. Is, it is a very good question. But he would like more emotes of himself, and we could possibly put him in other color shirts. Right. But one emote at a time. Yes, we have to reach all of our goals very slowly. Mm -hmm. Very slowly. Hop <laughs> uh, to each goal. Can I donate a few? Uh, Nerd New Social wants to know if he can donate a few shirts to you. Would you be interested in that? Uh, he's very particular with his sizes. Uh, it, it has to fit him in a very particular way. Um, uh-huh, uh-huh. He, he says nothing. Uh, no, nothing with too many buttons, um, yeah, and it's got to be clean. Makes sense. Uh, and there was another question. I'm sorry, I missed it. Is Frog's Breath on is Amazon. It Amazon? Is Frog's Breath on Amazon, or is it a specialty? He, he says it's a, a special part of Amazon. Um, it's like a, 
a, a special uh, extension. You know how there's dot us dot. Mm. Mm. Uh, well, there's a special one for frogs. Uh, um, frog but you have to be uh, approved to get onto that site. So you have to verify with them that you are indeed a frog. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, yeah, it's the Amazon. Oh, don't say. Oh, okay. Sorry, can't yeah. tell you. Ah, okay. <laughs> can't give up our secrets. Ah. Uh, no, the Amazons. Okay. The Amazons. Um, any yeah. other question? I mean, I'm sorry that we, you know, it's just not available on, on you know, our, our regular everyday Amazon, unless you would be willing to be verified through their program. Um, I'm not quite sure how to reach it, but maybe you guys could look into it if you're interested. Yeah, he also says that there is a, um, a DNA test you can take, and if you're at least a few percent frog, uh, that is enough proof. Wow, wow, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Um, so, no, you can't, you can't use Amazon Prime. You can use Amazon Prime to subscribe to our channel, mm -hmm. um, but I guess Amazon Prime does not cover this specific frog section is what I'm understanding from what I'm being told. Yeah, there's a, a lot of really cool stuff on there, but uh, it's a lot of stuff us humans don't quite understand. Okay, yeah. maybe not for our, for our particular mm -hmm. special special species. needs <laughs> species needs yeah. yeah but maybe we can do maybe a some type of video on some of the the product reviews if we get enough love on youtube yeah that if you'd be willing to let us into that world uh, i don't know if it violates the terms of service of your maybe well he's already violated a few terms of services uh, with his past video oh Ooh, sorry oh, sorry oh, oh, my bad okay <laughs> <laughs> um is it familiar with the, I'm sorry, with the... Is he familiar, familiar with, with the lizard people? Are you familiar with the lizard people? Oh, okay. He has some distant cousins. Um, he doesn't really talk to them much. Yeah. Just a little bit of a falling out, but some, some pretty distant cousins. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, and then what, what percent frog to human ratio do you have to be for this Amazon, this Amazon special site, do you know? Oh, hmm. Ah, uh, he says he doesn't want to tell you his percent because that's personal, but you have to be at least 20% uh, with your DNA test. Okay, well that, that makes sense. Um, or, oh, they're also asking if you're familiar with crab people. No. He says that's a myth. That's, ah, okay. Um, so crab people are a myth. Um, <laughs> is this, is, oh. Is, are you a part of the Illuminati? Someone's asking. Ooh. <laughs> I guess Mr. Frog is filled with uh, many, many secrets. Yes. <laughs> very mysterious. Mm -hmm. Good questions, yes, though. Very good questions. <laughs> no one's asking anything about the female frog that was in a previous video. Nobody wants to know about her. Oh, that's interesting. Mm. Okay. That's fine. She can she's, stay a mystery. Yeah, she's, uh, I guess, out of the picture. Oh, oh the time? Uh, oh, yeah, I guess we are kind of closing in on time. Does anybody have any last minute questions? Uh, we do have to wrap up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Yeah, Mr. Right. Frog has a few manager... Uh, I have to, you know, be a manager and take him to some of his other meetings and stuff, so... Um, there's a, one more question. Oh. Uh, I asked a question about that. I think you missed it. Did you oh. sleep with... Um, do you sleep with a heat rock? <laughs> 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 he says, of course. Of, of course. course. Of course. I'm sorry, drawing chaos. What question did you ask? I, I'm sorry if we missed it. Yeah, my apologies. The uh, it's quite busy in our chat room today. <laughs> a heat pad, haha. -ha, drawing chaos. Yes, a heat lily pad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Uh, uh, where did you take his lady friend out to eat? Oh. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, Mr. Frog actually knows some really hot spots around the LA area. Uh, that was kind of a speakeasy type of place. 
Um, they really have a lot of good cockroaches and other types of insects in these dark, grungy areas, such as that one there. Um, so that's, uh, it, it was a secret speakeasy spot where a lot of frogs like to go. Mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, the, the, the bugs are the best in the dank, dark areas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> Any last questions? I, I know you have to run uh, pretty quickly. Uh, just... <laughs> Do you still have her number? Oh. Um, this person is, is very much interested in maybe reaching out to that lady friend. Oh, he's getting it for you. <laughs> yeah, we'll text you later. I have a fly in my house. Can you... They want to know if you want to come and eat the fly in their house. No. He doesn't do uh, house to house services. As his manager, yeah, it's just not working out for, for us this way. If, if it was a paid job, would you be interested in it? Or is there... We're sort of looking for more video type jobs. Mm -hmm. um, not really cleaning services. But okay. if you do catch it, in a humane way, um, please send it over <laughs> for a price. For a price. <laughs> Everyone has a price, nerd <laughs> news. <laughs> uh, what type of office job does he have? Oh, uh, if you did not, if you weren't here earlier, he is a sales frog at Cabillion, so that's his main job. Um, he does. He's more trying to focus on his acting. Yeah. Hope you guys liked his acting. It was good, right? <laughs> ten bits. Ten bits to come. Um, I think that's a bit low even for a anyone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but if you'd like to give us 10 bits, you know, we, we'd be very yeah. grateful for it. <laughs> yeah, we're currently our squid sprinkles down here is drowning in bits, which we absolutely love. Definitely a lot of food for uh, the days coming. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thanks, well, Thank chaos. you, thank you. <laughs> okay, well then, um, thank you all for your questions. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Frog. I'm hoping that I can be forgiven for my uh, social blunder. And um, thank you for everybody who watched. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can go and watch some of his videos. Uh, thank you for everybody who donated bits today. We greatly, greatly appreciated it. Um, we do have the Lens Shark interview coming up. We do just have to prep for it. Um, we did reach these two cheer goals within a week, so there's a lot of prep work that goes into that. <laughs> But um, it is coming. It will be coming soon. So keep an eye out for that. Tomorrow is, of course, the Design Power Hour at 10 a.m. Um, you will see your icons stuck in our pumpkin somewhere. Uh, they will be there. So thank you for that. And then next week, um, we are kind of mixing it up due to the Halloween um, holiday. Is it a holiday? <laughs> I guess. Uh, the Halloween day. So uh, Tuesday is Hero 108 at 10 a.m. PST. And then Thursday, we will be having a special Halloween episode stream. So it's not a live stream from us, but it is still a series episode Halloween related stream. Um, and of course, the Design Power Hour on Friday, as always. So thank you all for joining. Uh, thank you for supporting the channel. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, Mr. Frog greatly appreciates your support. And um, that's it for now. Have yeah. a great day. All right. Thanks, everyone. You have survived the Cabillion HQ. Follow the channel.